Here's everything you need to know on how to use the Prezi Present Editor. We'll start in the upper left-hand corner in the hamburger menu where you'll find many useful options, such as keyboard shortcuts and more. Prezi has an open canvas format that allows you to place content anywhere on your screen and freely move around while presenting. Frames are the best way to direct your audience's attention, reveal information, and organize your presentation. You can use any of the frames that come with the template, delete them, or duplicate by clicking Ctrl or Command D. To add new content, click on the Add Frame button and Prezi will suggest the best placement on the canvas for it. You'll be able to choose from a blank frame or use one of our layouts from the right sidebar. Alternatively, you can choose the location manually by using the drawing tool under the drop-down menu here. A ghost frame will follow your mouse, showing you exactly where it will go before you place it. Over in the middle of the top toolbar, you'll see your content editing options. Your style tab is where you can change your background, update your color style, and text styles. If you're on a team license, you can also apply your brand watermark here. Next, you'll see all of your content options where you can add text, images, videos, shapes, story blocks, animations, and so on. You'll find extra options under more, such as topics, presenter notes, and your personal library. Over to the right, you can add collaborators and go into preview mode. All of your presenting options will be here in the dropdown, and you'll also find many sharing options to the right. The navigation bar at the bottom of your canvas is going to help you as you're editing. You have the select tool on by default, and you can change it to the hand tool by clicking here to pan around the canvas or by pressing H on your keyboard. Next to it, you can select which device you use, a mouse, a trackpad, or both. Selecting the right device can make your navigation and zooming experience more seamless. Click on Learn More to find the shortcuts. Here you can move to the next step in your presentation, return to the previous one and go back out to the overview at any point. You're also able to control the zoom level as you're editing. Last but not least, in your left-hand sidebar is where you'll find your timeline, which you can expand or collapse it if you want to create more space while you're editing your content. The timeline is a step-by-step -step overview of each motion in your presentation. Any frames or animations that you add will appear here in order, and you can use your timeline to easily navigate to areas of content that you want to edit. You can also click and drag to rearrange any of your content in the timeline. Now it's time for you to start building out your presentation.